Okay, everyone. Um, the meeting is now live to the public and is being recorded. So over to you, Chairman. Councillor Hughes, you're muted. I unmute. There we go. <laughs> I think you must have muted me. Okay. Well, I'll start again. Welcome, members of the public, councillors, uh, and honorary aldermen uh, to East Devon District Council's virtual extraordinary council meeting uh, this Thursday, the 28th of May. Uh, I'm your chairman, Councillor Stuart Hughes. Now, all participants here today are taking part remotely and the meeting is being viewed online and recorded, so please bear this in mind throughout the meeting. Now, in the event of a break in the internet connection or a power cut, please bear in with us as uh, we try to reconnect. And if we are not able to reconnect after 15 minutes, uh, the meeting will be adjourned and reconvened at a later date. So please check uh, the committee page on our website for further details. Now, during today's meeting, there will be a public participation to those who are pre-registered to speak. And I will be inviting public speakers to participate in the meeting at the appropriate time under item one. So please make sure all microphones are muted when you're not speaking to avoid any background noise levels. Please keep your points short and do not interrupt when someone is speaking. And uh, if you wish to comment, please raise your electronic blue hand and wait to be called. Now, all councillors have been sent the agenda for today's meeting and uh, any members of the public who want to view the agenda can do so by visiting our website, eastdevon.gov.uk. So sadly, I would like to uh, start with two short obituaries um, and, and it is with great sadness that I must announce the death of two of our former councillors Alderman David Scott and Douglas Hull. Now, I'm sure a few of you will remember David Scott on the uh, 20th of May, 2020, after a brief spell in hospital, David passed away peacefully at the age of 89 and will be sadly missed by all that knew him. Those who had known David uh, would describe him as a, a true character uh, with a twinkle in his eye and a raft of humorous comments born from his Liverpudlian roots. And he was tremendous company, always putting a smile on your face and nothing was too much trouble for David. Now, David was first elected uh, to the council in 1982. He was forthright in his thinking and gained much respect from his colleagues on the East Devon District Council. He served Exmouth well and had a great love for the town. And during his time, he had proudly served on a number of committees, including Western Area Planning Committee, Policy Committee, Amenities Committee, and was also the chairman of the Housing Committee. And David retired from the council in 1999 after serving 17 years as a councillor. And then who could forget Douglas Hull? Well, Axminster has certainly lost one of its longest serving supporters and Douglas sadly passed away on the 25th of May. Uh, Douglas was extremely well known locally for his public service, having held a series of elected offices over a period of over 50 years. And he served at different times on Hawkchurch Parish Council, Axminster Rural District Council, Axminster Town Council, and serving as mayor three times in 89-91, 2003-5, and 2015-16, and East Devon District Council, which made him an honorary alderman, as you may remember, last, last December 2019. And of course, uh, Devon County Council, where he was also an honorary alderman and a former vice chairman. Well, one of Douglas's proudest achievements in the political sphere was the establishment of the Millway Industrial Estate, without which Axminster would be a much less prosperous and viable community and Douglas will be sadly missed. Now I do appreciate that some of you may well wish to pass on their condolences 
and also express their thanks for their work as councillors or just to pass on from memories. However, given the nature of this meeting and shortness of time, this will need to wait to a more appropriate time. And so perhaps at that time, we can celebrate the time that they both spent on East Devon District Council. So I will now start the meeting. And by doing so, I believe we're gonna have a roll call of everyone here that's present. So when you hear your name, please confirm by saying present. Over to you, Wendy. Thank you, Chairman. Councillor Allen. Present. Councillor Armstrong. Present. Councillor Arnott. Present. Councillor Bailey. Present. Councillor Barrow. Present. Councillor Bickley. Present. Councillor Blakey. Present. Councillor Bloxham. Present. Councillor Bond. Present. Councillor Brown. Present. Councillor Kaygill. Present. Councillor Chamberlain. Present. Councillor Chapman. Okay, no Councillor Chapman. Councillor Chubb. Present. Councillor Coleman. Present. Councillor Davy. Present. Councillor Desaram. Present. Councillor Dent. Present. Councillor Faithful. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Councillor Gardner. Present. Councillor Gazard. Present. Councillor Hall. Present. Thank you. Councillor Hartnell. Present. Councillor Hawkins. Present. Councillor Hayward. Present. Councillor Hookway. Present. Councillor Howe. Present. Councillor Hughes. Present. Councillor Ingham. Present. Councillor Jackson. <coughs> Councillor Jackson. I think you're calling me present. Thank you. Councillor Jarvis. Present. Councillor Jeffrey. Present. Councillor Johns. Present. Councillor Young. Present. Where's my list? Councillor Key. Present. Councillor King. Present. Thank you. Councillor Ledger. Present. Thank you. Councillor Loudon. Present. Councillor Manley. Present. Councillor McCollum. Present. Councillor McLaughlin. Present. Councillor Miller. Present. Councillor Moulding. Present. Councillor Parr. Present. Councillor Pepper. He's trying to get in. He can't get in. Okay. Councillor Pook. Present. Councillor Pratt. Present. Councillor Ranger. Present. Councillor Rickson. Present. Councillor Rowland. Present. Councillor Rylance. Present. Councillor Skinner. Present. Councillor Taylor.
<clears throat> Councillor Taylor. Okay. Councillor Thomas. Present. Councillor Twist. Councillor Whibley. Present. Councillor Woodward. Present. Councillor Rag. Present. Councillor Wright. Chris Wright. Councillor Chris Wright. Present. And Councillor right. Tom Wright. Present. Oh, hi, Thank Debbie. You. Phil Twist here. I'm just trying to get Maddie Chapman logged in. So I'm here um, as well, but I'm just trying to get Maddie. She's having problems with the broadband. Thank you. So, right. Sorry, Chair. Can you just check uh, Councillor Taylor in attendance? I can see her in the list now. Councillor Taylor? Brenda? Brenda Taylor? No. She might be having problems. I, I am, huh? I'm, Hello, I am Brenda. having problems. I'm, right. I'm here. Oh, you're there. I can um, see you. I'm here. Yep. Good. Yep. You're here. You're Why present. do they keep um, muting? I'm on mute. No. Okay. Thank you. Right. So have we got Councillor Pepper? That was the other one. He's trying to get in, Chris. Um, Stuart, okay, sorry. Okay. He's, he's trying to get on yeah. the line. Well, ch chairman, please. It's chairman. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Um, so shall we move on with the uh, meeting? Your decision, Chair. Right, okay, so agenda item one, public speaking. Uh, no members of the public are registered to speak at the time of writing. Um, item two, apologies. Well, we haven't received any apologies. And so I can confirm that we are core at today. And so uh, we can move on to agenda item three which is the motion to determine whether to hold a meeting to elect positions. Uh, now, members will be aware of the uh, requests that uh, have been made over, over, of me over the past uh, few weeks to hold various extraordinary general meetings of the council, as my early correspondence on the issue was circulated to the whole membership. Now, the first request was to deal with the chairman of scrutiny appointment. And the second was for a meeting to ask the members to decide whether to hold the annual meeting on the 18th of June. And I actually confirmed my agreement to a meeting on the 18th of June to deal with matters that would have been postponed from the annual council. Now, I then received correspondence in relation to the meeting of the 18th of June, uh, requiring confirmation on certain aspects and also requiring me to take certain steps to call the meeting. And in light of this correspondence and having taken advice, I provided further clarity on what the meeting of the 18th of June could practically consider given the uncertainty over the political situation. However, I also explained that in light of ongoing discussions and on reflection, it was more appropriate, as was originally requested, for the membership to decide whether it wanted to consider the election of the chair and vice chair of the council, as well as the leader of the council, and to receive the leader's appointment of the deputy leader and the cabinet. And I therefore confirmed that I would call an EGM at the end of May for members to decide on whether to hold that meeting. Now, in light of the circumstances around holding a virtual meeting, I didn't set the specific date, but confirmed the attention to call it in the week commencing the 25th of May, after having seen how development management committee went now, subsequent changes in the political groupings meant I received correspondence withdrawing the request for a meeting to decide whether to hold an annual meeting on the 18th of June and received a further request for
for a meeting in the first week of June for the council to elect at least the chair and vice chair and the leader. So given the nature of the requests, I reiterated my view that this was an important issue for the membership to take a view on and that it was not appropriate for five councillors, along with myself as a chair, to actually de decide to hold such a meeting without the approval of the wider membership. I therefore reiterated that there would be an EGM on the 27th of May for members to decide whether to have a meeting to decide on appointments, but that if the members agreed, the summons calling a meeting on the 4th of June to determine the appointments would be issued immediately after the meeting. The summons was issued the next day on Friday the 15th of May for an EGM on the 27th of May to elect the chair, vice chair, and the leader, and to receive the leader's appointments. Now, on the following Monday, the council was faced with the ruling group relinquishing control and the leader resigning, giving the need for the council to now elect a new leader. So I cancelled the meeting on the 27th of May because the motion was obsolete, as the council obviously needs to elect a new leader. The second EGM tonight deals with that aspect. However, I was still of the view that the membership should decide on whether it wants to elect a new chair and vice chair of the council. And that is what this EGM is to consider. And if that is your will, then the meeting to do this will be on the 8th of June. Right, now, I think I've said enough there. Sarah, can you call out the councillors who would like to speak? I've, I presume you've got a list there or hands gone up? Yes, the first the first speaker with their hand up is Councillor Dean Barrow. All right, thank you. Councillor Barrow. Thank you, Chairman. I do not believe this is the time for an AGM. The pandemic has had a significant impact on the council, its officers and the residents we all represent. We as members need an experienced chairman to lead us at this time, and in Councillor Hughes we have it. Councillor Hughes has been an East Devon councillor for nearly 30 years, and a county councillor since 1993. There are only a few people in the history of the council who have successfully represented this area for that long. And as a previous chairman, he has all the experience we need. Therefore, I will be voting against the motion to hold an AGM at this time. Thank you very much. Um, Sarah, ne next speaker. Councillor Andrew Moulding. Yes, thank you, uh, Chairman. Um, uh, I don't believe either that we should be holding a meeting purely for a change of chairmanship and particularly during a pandemic crisis. I see no reason whatsoever why the current chairman should not complete the regular two year term. So there is no need to replace our existing chairman. And would the public really expect a change at this stage? I believe the residents of East Devon expect our councillors and officers to be concentrating on the effects of the coronavirus. I therefore urge you to vote against the motion to determine whether to hold a meeting to elect positions. And I would like to suggest and propose, Chairman, that we have a recorded vote. Very much. Have you a seconder? Have we got a seconder? I've got a call for a recorded vote. Is there a seconder? No. I'm more than happy to second, Chairman. Councillor, Councillor Hall, Sarah, to second a recorded vote. So, next speaker. Councillor Cathy Gardner. Um, I move that the question be now put. Thank you.
Okay, Stuart, you need to ask whether there's a seconder. Look, are there any, have you got a seconder? Yes, I'm seconding John Loudon. Councillor, Councillor Loudon. Uh, we've only had uh, a couple of speakers, so uh, perhaps we can hear from a couple of more speakers, maybe from the uh, other side of the house, as you might uh, say. I don't know if uh, anybody wishes to speak. Councillor Loudon was next in the speaker list. Councillor Loudon. Chair, okay. part of the reason for uh, wishing to put my hand up was to second uh, the proposition that uh, Councillor uh, Gardner has just put, but I do I do disagree fundamentally with the two previous speakers. Uh, we have to have democracy continuing, regardless. This is not putting anybody out. We're all sat in our, our homes being able to participate in democracy. And that is, I think, what the residents want. We are in difficult times in this authority. We have seen the current leadership uh, resign and uh, we have normally have annual elections. And that's what uh, we should be continuing with as we're able to do this from the safety of our own homes. Thank you. Many thanks. Any other speakers, Sarah? Councillor Dean Barrow. I think Councillor Barrow, is it Councillor Barrow? Point of order, Chair. Councillor Ledger. We've already had a motion to put the question. It's been seconded. You should be taking a, a vote on that as per the constitution. Uh, so Chair, the, the oh, well, sir, go on Chair, if you wanted to, to answer. No, 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 I'll, go on, Henry. So on a procedural motion like that, where the motion where the motion is that the question be put, it's up to the chair to consider whether the item has been sufficiently discussed. And it's only once that has happened that that motion is then put to the vote. So once the chair is satisfied, then the motion can be put. So it's up yeah. to the chair to decide whether he's satisfied there's been enough debate or discussion. So at the moment, I've had uh, two, three speakers. And I, I, I mean, I, would, I think if I had five, then uh, I'd be happy for that uh, motion to be put. And we've also had a request for a recorded vote, and that has also been seconded. So, Sarah, are there any other speakers? Because uh, if not, then we can move to the vote. Chairman, there are five more councillors indicating they wish to speak. Right. Can, can I have the names, and please, I'm just trying to get a, a yes. good spread here. Councillor Val Ranger, Councillor Alan Dent, Councillor Paul Hayward, Councillor Fabian King, and Councillor Eileen Rag. Right, okay. Uh, so, if we could take uh, Eileen Rag first. Thank you. Councillor Rag. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Chairman, I, I think democracy, as has been said by Councillor Loudon, uh, will continue. It's what people want to see. They want to see a normal routine, as normal as possible in these difficult times. Um, I think Councillor Hughes has served the council well over many, many years. Um, and I know that he's very um, busy at County Hall and having had so many years um, on this council as well, uh, perhaps it's time to give somebody else a, a run at it. So um, I welcome this, um, this question being put. Thank you. Thank you. And Councillor King, was it Fabian King? Councillor King. Yes, I would like to echo um, Eileen's, uh, Councillor Rag's comments. Um, I think it's time for a change, uh, especially after what has gone on in the last few weeks. And um, I support the question being put. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, who else have we got? We've got uh, two more speakers then, Councillor Dent and, uh, and Councillor Haywood. Councillor Dent? Councillor Ranger, Chairman. Oh, and Councillor Ranger, okay. And then, then I'll... Call, call him with, with take us have a vote on a recorded vote first. Right, so Councillor Dent and then Councillor Hayward and Councillor Ranger. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I must say I'm filled with concern and dismay at the prospect of a, an extraordinary general meeting uh, for a new chairman and vice chairman. And the reasons for this are during the COVID emergency, the priority for this council has been to maintain our services to residents while both officers and councillors work from home. The street scene team have done a brilliant job in sustaining our curbside collections 
and lately, much to the relief of many, have reintroduced the Green Waste Collection Service. All this against staff sickness and heavier workloads. As the restrictions from lockdown are being eased, it is vital that we have leadership which is stable and consistent. In Councillor Hughes, we have not just someone with immense experience, but also that vital link with the County Council. To replace Stuart with someone without that experience, knowledge and connections would, be, would both demean the work Stuart has done in supporting this council and would jeopardise the recovery process. Now we have even more challenges to overcome. For starters, job losses through business closures, for example Flyby, Thomas Hook and now the Shearings Hotels. Our tourist economy is suffering badly and a number of bed and breakfasts Hotels, campsites, pubs and restaurants may close and never again, never open again. However, the virus has not gone away and we must continue to respect social distancing for the, respect for the, for the foreseeable future. That is why we need effective and experienced leadership to change during the middle of this crisis would be, could be disastrous and in my mind, a major mistake. Another essential issue is that of trust. Not only do we need to trust our officers and our leaders, we need to trust and respect each other. This is not the time to hold an extraordinary general meeting and replace our very experienced, trusted and valued chairman. I will not be supporting a vote for an extraordinary general meeting. Thank you. Many thanks. Councillor Hayward. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I've indicated that I don't wish to speak and just if oh, fine. Can just move straight to the vote as asked. Okay. Thank Many thanks. And uh, finally, uh, Vice Chairman, Councillor Ranger. Yes, sorry, it's just a point of order, really, that um, Section 4 um, of the Constitution, page 16, um, does state that there will be um, a chairman will be elected each year, not every two years. As um, Councillor Moulding stated, it was every two years. But in fact, it, um, the constitution states each year. Yeah, so I can, I can vouch for that. It, it is an election, but you've got to have the AGM. And what we're discussing now is whether we're going to have an AGM to elect the chairman and vice chairman for the ensuing year. Right, well, I think uh, we've had uh, the, the speakers. And uh, so we've got a request for a recorded vote. Um, yeah, can I just, I, I appreciate this is uh, um, the procedural side, but can we just ask Councillor Gardner to withdraw the procedural motion that the question be put, otherwise we'll have to take oh, right. the vote first. But now you're at the stage of taking the vote, hopefully that will just be agreed to. Yes, this is Councillor Gardner, of course, that doesn't apply anymore. That, okay, the right. thank, thanks very much. So, uh, Sarah, we've, we've got a call for a recorded vote, and that's been uh, duly seconded. Do we take a, a, a vote on a recorded vote first? before we go into the vote or, or, or what? This is new territory. Yes, so that we will now do a roll call vote on whether the membership wants to have a recorded, recorded vote. Recorded so vote, right, okay. Yeah, I thought you, that was the case, right. Yep, so, so you'll we, now be asked whether you are in favour of a recorded vote, whether you're against or, or, against. Vote, or whether you uh, abstain. Okay. Right. So okay. Over, to, over to Wendy, I think. Wendy? Yes. Right. Thank you. Councillor Allen. It's essential that a recorded vote is taken. Four, thank you. Councillor Armstrong. Sorry. Councillor Arm yeah, uh, four. I was sorry. sorry. Thank you. Councillor Arnott. Four. Councillor Bailey. Four. Councillor Barrow. Four. Councillor Bickley. Four. Councillor Blakey. Four. Councillor Bloxham. Four. Councillor Bond. Four. Councillor Brown. Four. Councillor Kaygill. Four. Councillor Chamberlain. Four. Councillor Chapman has now joined us after the roll call. So, Councillor Chapman? Four. Councillor Chubb? Four. 
Councillor Coleman? Four. Councillor Davy? Four. Councillor Desaran? Four. Councillor Dent? Four. Councillor Faithful? Hello. Councillor Faithful? Yeah, no, no. It's a, I'm meant for the vote. Okay, one sec, I'll catch you later. Four. Councillor Gardner? Four. Councillor Gazard? Four. Councillor Hall? Four. Councillor Hartnell? Four. Councillor Hawkins? Four. Councillor Hayward? Four. Councillor Hookway? Four. <coughs> Councillor Howe? Four. Councillor Hughes? Four. Councillor Ingham? Four. Councillor Jackson? Four. Councillor Jarvis? Four. Councillor Jeffrey? Four. Councillor Johns? Four. Councillor Young? Four. Councillor Key? Councillor Key? Four. Councillor King? Four. Councillor Ledger? Four. Councillor Loudon? Four. Councillor Manley? Four. Councillor McCollum? Four. Councillor McLaughlin? Four. Councillor Miller? Four. Councillor Moulding? Four. Councillor Parr? Four. Councillor Pepper has now joined us. So, Councillor Pepper? Four. Councillor Pook? Four. Councillor Pratt? Four. Councillor Ranger? Four. Councillor Rickson? Four. Councillor Rowland? Four. Councillor Rylance? Four. Yeah. Sorry, Councillor Rylance, was that four? Four, yep. Thank you, thank you. Councillor Skinner? Four. Councillor Taylor? She's having a problem with her bloody... Councillor Taylor? I'll come back to you, Councillor Taylor. Councillor Thomas? Four. Councillor Twiss? Four. Councillor Whibley? Four. Councillor Woodward? Four. Councillor Rag? Four. Councillor Chris Wright? Four. Councillor Tom Wright? Four. Okay, oh. Councillor Taylor, are you there? Yeah. Well, I think, I think Wendy, we've, uh, we've established well, we're going to have a recorded vote anyway, so now you've got to go through yeah, the you... whole process again. Again, so it's either uh, for, uh, against or abstain. And, uh, and that's yeah. it, on whether we hold an AGM on the 8th of June. Excuse me, Mr Chairman. Sorry, Thank Councillor you. Hall. Yeah, um... Um, Councillor Rag being outside in the motorbike no noises. Is there any chance that Councillor Rag can move inside? Because we're going to have a lot of interference. The wind's picking up in Exmouth as well. No, I'd sense. put it on mute. Okay, so councillors, you'll now be asked whether you are in favour of the motion to have a meeting on the 8th of June to determine the or to elect a chair and vice chair. You'll be asked whether you are for, against, or whether you abstain. Thank you. Councillor Allen. Against. Councillor Armstrong. Councillor Armstrong. 
Sorry. Sorry again, I'm um, uh, Four. Sorry. Councillor Arnott. Four. Councillor Bailey. Four. Councillor Barrow. Against. Councillor Bickley. Four. Councillor Blakey. Four. Councillor Bloxham. Four. Councillor Bond. Against. Councillor Brown. Councillor Brown. Oh, against. Councillor Kaygill. Against. Councillor Chamberlain. Four. Councillor Chapman. Councillor Chapman. I'll come back to Councillor Chapman. Councillor Chubb. Against. Councillor Coleman. Four. Councillor Davy. Four. How do I unmute this thing? Against. Top of the screen on the right. Can I, we've got somebody else talking there. It was, oh, it's Councillor Taylor. Sorry. Sorry. Councillor Dent. Against. Against. Councillor Faithful. Four. Councillor Gardner. Four. Councillor Gazard. Four. Councillor Hall. Against. Councillor Hartnell. Against. Councillor Hawkins. Four. Councillor Hayward. Four. Councillor Hookway. Four. Councillor Howe. Against. Councillor Hughes. Councillor Hughes. Against. Councillor Ingham. Against. Councillor Jackson. Four. Councillor Jarvis. Against. Councillor Jeffrey. Four. Councillor Johns. Four. Councillor Young. Four. Councillor Key. Councillor Key. Against. Councillor King. Four. Councillor Ledger. Four. Councillor Loudon. Four. Councillor Manley. Four. Councillor McCollum. Four. Councillor McLaughlin. Four. Councillor Miller. Four. Councillor Moulding. Against. Councillor Parr. Against. Councillor Pepper. Against. Councillor Pook. Four. Councillor Pratt. Four. Councillor Ranger. Four. Councillor Rickson. Four. Councillor Rowland. Four. Councillor Rylance. Four. 
Councillor Skinner. Against. Councillor Taylor. <coughs> Councillor Thomas. For. Councillor Twist. Against. Councillor Whibley. For. Councillor Woodward. For. Councillor Rag. For. Councillor Chris Wright. For. Councillor Tom Wright. Against. And Councillor Chapman, are you there? Right, okay, so if you just bear with me while I just count up the fours a moment. Thirty-seven fours, and against is twenty-two against. Many thanks, and so uh, uh, that uh, means that the uh, fours have it, and uh, we'll have a meeting on the eighth of June, uh, the AGM, uh, to uh, elect the chairman and the vice chairman for the ensuing year. Well, that brings us uh, that meeting to an end. And I would like to thank everyone, including any members of the public watching online uh, for actually uh, taking part. Just remind all those present that the uh, supporting officer will confirm when the meeting is no longer being recorded or, or going live. And until then, your comments will be live to the public. Members, I would ask that you please remain in this meeting as the second EGM will follow on shortly, so say a couple of minutes. Okay, many thanks. <laughs>